What's up guys, welcome back to Jimmy Comics. My name is Riley, and I've got another comic book haul for you today. These two just came out. First off, I've got X-Men Eve of Destruction. And this is just an oversized hardcover, it's not termed an omnibus. And then I've got Cable and X-Force. And this is basically just X-Force Volume 3. So, like a couple weeks back I hauled X-Force Volume 1 and Deadpool and X-Force, which is Volume 2, so this follow, follows that, so that's a good follow-up, and that just came out this past week, so um, let's look at the books and see what's in them. Alright, so X-Men Eve of Destruction, this is an oversized hardcover, I'll show you guys the spine, nope. see Magneto on the bottom there. Got the Marvel logo on the top. And there is the back. And the cover board itself is a little bit different. Very nice cover board. It's like a matte finish on this one. And let's see, this collects Magneto Dark Seduction numbers 1 through 4, Uncanny X Men 390 through 393, and Annual 2000, X Men 110 through 113, X Men Forever, Forever 1 through 6, X Men Declassified, X Men Unlimited 30 through 33 and X-Men The Search for Cyclops 1 through 4. So a good chunk of material. This is a hundred dollar cover price and you can get it for what 58 now on in stock trades. It's a credits page. No table contents on this one. Just jump right into the material. So this is a 90s book. Um, so it's going to have some 90s art. Which I like. I like um, looking at some 90s art every once in a while. Try to get the glare off of it. Here's the search for Cyclops. I like this art a little bit better. This looks good. Yeah, this is just another book to go in the X-Men collection. Um, if you're collecting these books, I'm sure you've already got this on your radar. Um, I can't really say much about the story because I, I haven't read this. But it looks fun and the book quality is very good. Marvel's been doing a good job lately with these. And here's some extra material. Some pencils and inks in the back here. And that's all it is. Like I said, that's a hundred dollars. Um but you get a pretty good chunk of material for the money, honestly. So, it's a nice book. And next up we've got Cable and X-Force. So like I said, this is pretty much a Volume 3. to the X-Force series of Omnis. And it does have a white spine. Marvel Omnibus there and the back has all the different covers that are in the book and the cover board underneath the book is just the front cover plus 
finishes out the splash page on the back of the cover board. And this collects X Force 32 through 43 and annual number 3, as well as Cable 9 through 20, New Warriors 45 and 46, X Factor 106, Excalibur 82, and Wolverine 85. So it looks like some pretty good talent on this book. And uh, just some more 90s stuff. This is pretty much a 90s X Men haul. Which is always good. Can't go wrong with 90s X Men. This one is an omnibus, so. A little bit bigger than the other book. But the cover price is, I believe, still $100. But this one is quite a bit bigger as far as material. And this one also does not have a table of contents, it has a creator credits page. Um, I do like this art a little bit more. You can kind of see the the pencils are, and the inks are a little bit sharper on this. Th this is more of the 90s art that I like. I like it a little bit better than the other book. But um, I like the concept of Cable, but I've never really read many Cable comics. So this will be fun getting to read some of this stuff. And uh, like I said on the channel earlier, I do hope to start with my X-Men readathon pretty soon. Uh, why didn't I just finish Jimmy Crisis where we cover all the different DC Crisis events? So um, this will be my next big project, I think. It's going through all the X-Men books. And this will definitely make it in the readathon. So. I do look forward to this and the Eve of Destruction book. This art looks more similar to the other book. And let's see what kind of... Oh! Kissing Domino? Okay. I do like when books go sideways like this. This is cool. That art is beautiful. It's really good stuff. Let's see what kind of extras we have. So this looks like some extra covers. Swimsuit pinups. And some Marvel Age. And right here we've got some old X-Men trading cards that's cool stuff and some more covers this is from Phalanx Covenant I'm not sure why that's in there I'll have to look and see what issues are in that book and there's some inks right there and that's it for that one Alright guys, that's all I've got this week. Hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time.